we are in Greece and it's the middle of the summer which means that the temperature is way above 30 degrees Celsius and instead of being down at the beach here I am doing a walk around of my 1996 Land Rover Discovery Hey, this is uh, the first episode of a series of episodes dedicated to Overland Vehicle Build. first one is about my own vehicle and it's my 1996 Land Rover Discovery 1. I bought this uh, vehicle seven years ago and slowly started modifying it into the tour that it is today. These coats are relatively cheap and they have a solid front axle, a solid rear axle, they have coils all around and most importantly they have about 800 kilograms of payload which was a priority when we were looking into building a tourer. So I'm just gonna start with uh, the front end of the vehicle and what I have here is an ARB deluxe bar which I have used to mount my two flat lights up here in the front. These are the Solis intensities made by ARB and we are super happy with them. They are really really bright and I think that I like about them is that they have a dimmer controller which you can control the intensity of the light that they are throwing in front of you. So right in here I've also mounted the Warn VR EVO 10S winch. They are super reliable, super strong and this one also has a synthetic rope. I didn't really want to go with the winch cable so I'm glad we got the one with the rope. And what I've also changed in the front end here are the headlights. The, the, these are not the typical uh, square headlights that the Disco has. I've replaced both of them with these uh, nice LED uh, headlights. Now engine wise this vehicle is pretty much stock. I haven't done anything to it. It has a 2 liter MPI uh, engine in it which is petrol unfortunately for the fuel consumption. Uh, the one thing that I have done to it is the snorkel right here practically erase their intake for water crossings and of course to avoid uh, dust being stuck in the engine. Now as we move our way to the side I have to mention the tires. They are the Biff Goodrich KM3 mud terrains. Don't make that much noise in uh, the highway given that they are muddy and they are perfect in mud, you know, rocks and gravel and snow and everything that we've uh, went through. Just really happy with them. So old money move socks and old money move springs all around. Uh, the front springs are rated for 100 kilograms and the rear springs are rated for 200 kilograms. We are really happy with this suspension setup. I don't have a huge lift, so that's a 1.5 inches lift. It's not much, but for what we do is um, more than enough. Of course, I have to mention the roof rack and uh, R10, the ARB base rack. If you want more information about the base rack and how we fit it in on the disco and why we did fit this uh, particular roof rack, you will have to go and watch the video that I have already uploaded, which is a base rack specific video. So I'm just gonna go on, and this is the uh, ARB 2.5 by 2 meter zoning. Right here, we have the ARB Simpson 3. Uh, roof tent, which we are super happy with. We've used it during the summer where we have uh, really high temperatures and we've also used it in snowy conditions with temperatures being far below zero. At the rear end of the vehicle I have my spare wheel beanbag and right next to it I have a 20 liter jerry can which I have fabricated on a swing away arm on our heavy duty uh, bridge part rear bumper. That's pretty much everything on the exterior of the disco so I think it's about time to move to the interior. I'm gonna start with the drawer system. The drawer system is uh, something that I've made on my own and I've also fitted here this nice uh, outback handles which are lockable so here I have the outlet for my ARB twin compressor and its switch which I can turn it on and off from here and there's also uh, a little power outlet hidden in here which we 
used to uh, recharge our phones, camera, drones and stuff. Now right here I have uh, my ARB Zero fridge. This is a 44 liter fridge. We're super happy with it. It's, it's super efficient and it cools down really, really quick. This is a fridge to freezer by the way. And it's on this nice little slide that I've made. It also has this um, prepping table which we use to prep our food and uh, our coffee and stuff. One thing that uh, some of you people have been asking is about these nice uh, window covers. These uh, window covers slash window organizers are made by Seawolf which is a company uh, located in Poland and they are really really handy and they should the disco uh, perfectly. We use it to store all kinds of stuff like ropes and pegs and torches and everything which is practically always in the way. <laughs> so right here on this side I've got this nice uh, box. And inside it I have everything like engine oil or some spare parts if we are going on a longer trip. If I remove this uh, piece here, I have my recovery kit. Uh, it's just an AAB recovery bag which inside it I have my uh, tire deflator and you know hoses for the air compressor, uh, snatch drops and uh, a tree trunk protector for the winch. So that's pretty much everything from the uh, back of the disco so now I'm going to move on to the front. Okay, so I used to have another platform here made out of the same material that I've made the drawers but I just took it out and I put the seats back in because I wanted to be able to carry a few people and behind these seats I actually have my whole 12V system so I'm using the Red Arc BCDC charger which is connected to the vehicle's alternator so I get charged while I'm driving and I also have this nice little uh, Anderson plug here which I use to plug in my uh, solar panel to in order to be able to get charged while we are stationary. And that's pretty much everything about my uh, 12V system. So I haven't really done anything to the front as well, it's just pretty simple. The only thing that I've done is I made this... Uh, dash cover in order to fit these uh, dash organizers which are really helpful by the way and other than that it's nothing here i don't want to you know have a lot of things you know hanging from here i just wanted to keep that uh, simple so i believe that's pretty much everything about the disco and i really hope that you enjoy this walk around thanks for watching and see you in the next video